Hello and welcome to this video. In this video series, I'm going to be teaching you how to use AutoCAD from the grounds up. I'm assuming you have no previous experience with the software. So the only requirement is for you to have a version of AutoCAD installed so you can follow along. I'm using AutoCAD 2018, but any other version will work, especially if it's 2011 and newer. If you already have some experience with AutoCAD, feel free to skip ahead since I'm going to be taking a few more minutes at the beginning to explain some of the basics of the interface. Alright, so let's get started. So AutoCAD is divided in different sections. The most important ones are the top one, which is the ribbon, and it's very similar to the ribbon of Microsoft Office. You have different functions organizing groups uh, that you can access by clicking on these tabs. Then the central part is the workspace, which is an unlimited canvas for us to draw. Here you can zoom in and out the canvas by moving the wheel of your mouse. That is the easiest way to do it. You can pan across the canvas by clicking and holding that scroll wheel of your mouse. Also you can pan by clicking here on the toolbar on the right. On the bottom you have what is called the command line. This is a very important section. Every command that we execute in, in AutoCAD has a command. If you type the command in the command line, it will execute that specific function. You can also find all the functions in the ribbon, but most of the time it's easier if you remember the command to just type it. Also here on the bottom we have this quick access toolbar that has many different options that I will be covering later on as we draw our floor plan. Before we start, uh, I want to tell you that AutoCAD is a very sophisticated program that has many, many functions. So please don't feel intimidated by the interface. We're going to learn how to use it, you know, step by step. And I will be introducing only the commands that we need in order for us to draw our floor plan. In later videos, I will uh, present you with more sophisticated drawings that require more commands and since you will have already seen this video you will have the base and the foundation to continue learning. This is the drawing we're going to use uh, to replicate in AutoCAD. It's a floor plan and uh, it's a good drawing because um, first you know it's not too complex and secondly it has all the dimensions we need so we can accurately uh, replicated in using AutoCAD. So when you choose a drawing, especially at, uh, when you, uh, at the beginning of your uh, AutoCAD training, it's important that you choose one that is not too elaborated and also that has the dimensions. So that eliminates the need to have to estimate uh, different measurements or dimensions. Before we start drawing in AutoCAD, it's important that we set up our working environment. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that we have the picture open that we want to replicate and it's always visible. So there are different ways to do this. The easiest way is if you have two monitors. If you do, just open that picture in your second monitor and you know, so it's always visible while you draw. If you don't, like most people and only have one monitor, then we're gonna be bringing that picture inside our canvas in AutoCAD. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're going to proceed to insert that reference picture by clicking on the insert tab on the ribbon and then on the attach button on the reference section. Notice how I, when I hover on top of that, it, it gives me the description of the uh, command and also its name, which is attach. So if you were to type attach enter, you will do the same thing than clicking on this icon. So for now, I'm going to click attach, uh, go to my desktop and click on the picture I want to attach, open and I'm gonna leave the defaults and click OK. Now the next step, and you can see that in the command line, is specify an insertion point. So you could either type a set of x, y coordinates of the Cartesian plane, remembering that uh, if you see this cross line here, this will be point uh, zero zero, you know, the, the square where the these two lines intersect. So I don't need that level of precision for now, so what I'm gonna do is simply click anywhere I want my picture to be inserted. I'm going to make it close to this origin though. So I'm going to click here 
and then it's asking me for a scale factor you see that on the ribbon and the one will be the default which brings the picture in its one-to-one uh, uh, -one scale factor or what you could do is you can move the mouse around uh, and you'll see that you're getting a preview of how big that picture is gonna look like so I'm gonna make it like this and click on the left button of the mouse and now I bring up my, uh, this this has completed my insertion and I have the picture there I can pan in so the idea here is to zoom it in a way so that, so that it's visible on my left side and I can work comfortably on my right side